Hello guys and welcome back to another student vlog um, and I have an event eventful day. Today I was going to go around my dad's um, and see if he's okay etc and buy him lots of chocolates and go around my granddad's and see if he's okay but times and plans have changed. So now I'm going to go to my granddad's. I'm going to see if he's okay, get him some breakfast. I'm going to walk to my dad's house, see if he's okay, spend a little time with him. And I'm going to stay at Jacob's. I'm going to get the 78 bus, which runs from the Neaton to Coventry. Uh, it runs every hour. Um, and I'm going to get off at uh, something called the Rico Arena. So it's like a big shopping centre in Coventry, uh, which then I'm going to get a bus from the Rico Arena to J outside Jacob's house. And then I'm going to see Jacob's family and, in and Jacob. Uh, and then I don't know what's going to happen then, really. I've got my laptop in my bag, so I'm going to edit some videos. And then obviously, you'll, you'll late, you'll later, you'll see... Probably me with Jacob. Um, from my last vlog, you've seen that Pablo has got a sore on his neck. So he's feeling very sorry for himself at the moment. I'll show you him. There he is, Pablo. Oh dear. He's a bit grumpy at the moment. So um, I'm going to leave him there. He's very calm at the moment. Um, but I'm going to go and crack on with my day. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day, guys, and I'll see you later. See you later, Pablo. Love you. Give us a kiss. Mm. Oh, your comb got in the way. <laughs> Love you. Every time. Bloody hell. Got my headphones, so I had to go back to the house. Good start to the day. Reason. Hey. Hey. <gasps> Japan have scored again. What? Japan are two in the look. Oh my god, I'm gonna end this vlog. Hang on. Bye guys. The mount is one of two rescue options and seems more likely than the second, which is to wait out the remaining four months. Hey guys, welcome back. It's July the 4th today. If you wonder why my hair looks kind of different, it's because I haven't actually done it today. Um, because I was late for my bus coming to where I'm going now, so I had to rush outside Jacob's house um, to get the bus. Then we found uh, like a stray dog. Um, I think it was heavily pregnant. So Jacob's had to take it um, and try and show it around um, to different houses. So hopefully it does find the right owner. Um, Obviously because it's heavily pregnant and obviously it's boiling hot today, so it needs water. Jacob's taking it back to his house, or her house, sorry, uh, to give it some water and some food. So, fingers crossed, the owner comes out eventually. Normally they do, we've, we put it on Facebook and that, and so people are sharing it, which is brilliant. Um, so I'm getting the train now. As you can see, there's Rico Arena. That's the home. That's the home of Coventry City. A football club and um, I'm at the train station now as you can see I'm currently waiting for the train as I'm donating blood today uh, my appointments at five past two my train comes at ten to two so I'm kind of cutting it short but hopefully all goes out to plan I've kind of planned it in my head so yeah hopefully that goes to plan it is going to plan at the moment but fingers crossed and then um, donating blood and I'm staying around my dad's house today he doesn't know that yet, but I'll probably go let him know in a moment after I donate some blood. Uh, I'm going to take you guys through the donation process, uh, as I feel as though blood donations are very important. They do save lives, and I want to put across in this video that how important donating blood is. Um, so obviously I'm going there now. You have to book an appointment online, or you can do it in the centre near you. Uh, if you go on uh, Donate Blood, 
online they will find you like the nearest centers that are near you where you sign up and you see if you're eligible and there's a lot of things that you need to be eligible for so obviously check that first and then obviously they'll point you in the right the right direction if you're not eligible like obviously for example if you had a tattoo in the last six months you can't have one uh, for approximately six months time so you have to wait until that goes there's a lot of things you need to meet but obviously it's very very rewarding as you're going to see later and then when your blood is donated uh, and it's transferred to a hospital you get like a little cute message and saying like thank you it's been sent to such and such hospital which obviously is very rewarding uh, because your blood has been sent to a patient in the hospital and it's going to save their life so it's amazing so yeah i'm gonna go now and i'll catch you guys at my blood donation and i'll see you guys when i'm there bye bye <sighs> so my train was delayed so i'm now already late to my blood donation i literally do not know where i am well i'm not even joking i promise you um so it's not going well at the moment so i'm not really showing a good message it's boiling uh look where i am Obviously, you, won't, you guys won't know where you, where you are either, but I mean, I should, and I don't. So, I'm going to catch you guys in a moment. Hopefully, I make it relatively on time and they can accept my donation. I'm just going over a motorway at the moment. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, best get a move on. I'll see you guys in a moment. So I guess I found it. So yeah, I'm gonna go in now. I'll see you guys in a moment. So, hello guys. Um, did the donation. And I didn't die. It was painless free. Well, obviously a little sharp scratch when it goes in. Uh, it took five minutes from when I was sat in the chair. Before you, have, you go in, you have a drink. Obviously you, make, you need to make sure in this heat, especially you are hydrated, but before you go in anyway, you get a drink and you have to fill in like a form. Um, so they can obviously identify if you're, you're eligible. For example, like have you been prone to obviously injections and stuff like that. And just ask you a couple of questions, you fill it out and then they call you in you sit in this like little suite where you're with like a doctor or a nurse or whatever and then they'll ask you a couple of questions um if all goes well they'll prick your finger and they'll check your blood um you'll, they'll check like your hemoglobin levels and your iron levels if they're okay they'll, they'll take you and sit you in a chair and they'll get you ready etc um Get you ready. Well, what can they do? Oh yeah, and then you sit in your chair, and then they obviously say, you ready? I say yes. And then, you're ready to go. And some people, it's quicker than others. Mine take, mine took five minutes, 19 seconds, which is actually quite 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 fast for, this, this is my third donation now. That was probably the fastest time. Normally it takes around about eight minutes for me. So, yeah, completely fine. Uh, now I'm walking to my dad's house. It's about a mile walk. I know I shouldn't really be doing any strenuous exercise at all, but <laughs> I can't help it. But yeah, very, very, very. Feel, it makes you feel good about yourself when you donate blood, and I do highly recommend it. If you are interested in donating blood, I'm going to leave the uh, website down below that you obviously go to. Make sure you go and check it out. Even if you don't want to, go and check it out and just have a look around, uh, and maybe it might change your mind. I don't know. But I, I do recommend that you, you donate blood. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. And I'll catch you guys when I'm at my dad's house. And yeah, I'm going over that uh, motorway again. Actually, it wasn't that far from the motorway that went over. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. This isn't horrifying. Cheers. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Thank 
said to Jimmy, you can get me them big plants. Get me a couple of them, he pull them out. Oh, they? Yeah. So guys, this has arrived. I'm gonna show you guys what I've brought for uni. This is my first thing that I've brought. And yeah, let's have a look. Yep, got the MacBook Pro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's nowhere to plan. There we are. Lovely. There we are. Actually quite hard to do it one hand. And then Oh, you can see my nipples. I'm shirtless. I'm sorry. <laughs>